Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. And we are going to give away two starter sets for Keyforge Mass Mutation, which is to be released tomorrow. So it's a little bit early. Now, of course, I will have to, you know, ship them to the winners and all that. So uh, it's not like you're going to get them, you know, before they're released. That would have been even more cool. But yeah, so I got these. Well, um, let's see if this... Any people, let's see if we're, the sound is okay. I think so. Yeah, if there's any issues uh, with the stream, with the sound or with the, uh, with the stream, then, you know, let me know in the live chat. Hey, uh, da Daniel is here. And yeah, so I got one of these last week re already from Asmodee Nordics and a few decks. So I've been, you know, doing some deck reviews and a playthrough with Cracko as well. You can go check that out after this if you haven't seen that it's all on the channel There's gonna be a link down in the description to the playlist as well for all my keyboards videos which is a lot of them by now but yeah the, the most recent ones are mass mutation obviously then the other one i got from game maniacs so thanks to game maniacs for sponsoring with one uh, so this one is shrink and one is open but it, no i'm i just did the unboxing with that one so nothing is uh, removed or whatever and it seems to be some people joining now. I'm a bit early, I know that. Um, it's always like that. I set everything up for the stream, you know, all the settings and all that. And then I tend to be a bit early, which is a good thing, I guess. And there are 69 entrants. 69 people signed up for the giveaway that was on Facebook. And so, as usual, I'm using the Mind <laughs> deck. From 1 to 100, but I removed everything above 69. So we're going to draw two cards and see who wins those starter sets. But I also... Oh, hey, Nikolai. I hope you're doing well in Denmark. But before we get going, we want to have some more, you know, we want to wait for some more people to join in, right? Um, since I'm a bit early, I think we'll start off with just opening a deck. I have a bunch of decks over here. So exciting. I opened a few already in my car from the way home from uh, the postal place uh, from the super, uh, supermarket. I got so excited when I got these from Game Maniacs uh, yesterday. So um, I had to open, I think I opened three in my four in my car um, and just look through them. That uh, was so exciting. So yeah. But I have to save a bunch because I do want to open these on camera, first and foremost. Hey, uh, Gungir and Filippo and Tokioka. Sorry for uh, butchering your name. And I'm happy to say that, uh, yeah, there was 69 entrants into the giveaway. And there was uh, a bunch of Swedes, as it usually is, uh, it tends to be. But then it was a lot of people with, at least judging from your names, I don't know where you, know, where you live. But it seemed like there was people from all over the world, which is I'm always happy for uh, when that happens. There was like Asian uh, names and, and American and whatnot. Um, just judging by the names, I don't know. Uh, okay, so here we have Sanctum, Untamed, and Sorian, Land Bosset of the Diplomats Heath. Oh, that's pretty cool. These names are always so weird, though. Hey, you are. And Alexis. Yeah, I did get, I got a two card monster in the logos in my playthrough and I was so excited for that because I played, I did the playthrough uh, sealed. So I didn't know what to, you know, at all what to expect. Draco had his deck, I had my deck. Uh, it's on the channel if you want to see it later. And then I just, you know, draw cards and all of a sudden I draw this half creature. I'm like, what is this? I mean, I knew about that beforehand that it was going to be this huge creature. But it just felt so weird when I drew, drew the card and it was a half card sort of. It was the bottom of the guy. Hey, Jonas. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Tokioka. Where are you from, Tokioka? I'm, uh, where are everybody from? Uh, tell me in the chat where you live. It's always uh, fun to hear. And when I do these uh, deck, uh, when I go through a deck, I am going to switch over to another camera, so it's, it's easier for you to see. It looks a lot better. So, we're going to do it like that. It's all black, but here I am. So, we're going to open it here because that makes it a lot, more, uh, a lot easier to see stuff. So, let's put that up there. And okay, so we start off with let's see if I can get over here. We start off with Untamed Niffle Queen, bonus amber, six power. Each other friendly beast creature gets plus one power, and each other friendly Niffle creature gets plus one power. This is an old one, I do like it if we get a bunch of beasts and Niffles and so on. 
Hey, J JB from Oregon. Then we have Nipple Ground, Free Amber, an old one as well. Artifact, choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. That creature loses Taunt and Elusive. Not that great, I think. I don't know. Not a favorite. Oh, here's something new. Bonus Amber, Growth Search, Action Card. Play, give a flying creature three plus one power counters. Give its neighbor two plus one power counters. Give the second creature's other neighbor a plus one. It's almost like the Logos cards that deal damage, but this is opposite uh, or something. Oh, we got a Elixir from Belgium and Tokyo is from the UK. And we got Gugnir from Sweden. And then we have Resurgence, haven't seen that before. Action, Enhance, so this gave some other card a plus one card draw. Uh, return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. If that creature is a mutant, return another creature from your discard pile to your hand. That is a cool card. I like that one. I can return two. Wow, two creatures to your hand. But we need a mutant then in Untamed. That would be the perfect one. So we can play those two, right? Rapid Evolution, bonus Amber. Play, choose, choose a creature. Give it a plus one power counter for each Amber you have. That can be a lot of uh, bonus power, right? Yeah, exactly. Reverse Positron. Hey, Paul, by the way. And here's Niffle Ape. Okay. So that's good. He's going to be a five with the queen. We have two of those. Usually have a few of these. Oh, three. Three. Okay. So now we just need we just need a uh, mutant, right? So we can use that cool card. The key frog is a pretty cool card. Bonus amber. Two power when he's destroyed. You forge a key at current cost. So he's like he, he's even better than the old Chota Hatsuri, right? Well, you have to have him destroyed, but uh, yeah. Okay, Lazarite is from USA. Hey. Yes, yeah, so you have to you have to find a way to destroy him, right? But you can find ways to do that, and then just yeah, that's so cool. I look forward to playing this. And here's a mutant. Oh, thank you. It would have been terrible if we didn't have a mutant in here with the resurgence. So this one we can get back. It's kind of bad. It's a one power, but it does enhance two. Oh, that's cool. It enhances two amber pips like that. Oh yeah, yeah, we have the Niffle Queen here in the beginning, uh, so that's awesome. Troop Call, Troop Call would be pretty cool. Oh, two of these. Wow, so we have a lot of extra bonus Amber in this deck. Look at this, four extra. Six extra! <laughs> what? Wow! So we have three creatures that are more or less useless in the gameplay, they're only once. But they do have that Enhance. Hey. So we go into Saurians, and I expect six extra Amber on this. I mean, six, that's like a third of what you can expect from a good deck, right? And Amber Pips, so... Wow. Oh yeah, key, that's interesting as well. Key Frog. Paul is saying here, that's true, I didn't think about this. Key Frog means you can forge on an opponent's turn. If they destroy this, and you have uh, whatever Amber is needed, usually six, then you will forge. That is really cool. So if I have two keys... And key frog out, and my opponent kills it, and I forge a key, then I win on his turn. That's that, that never happened before in key forge. That's really cool. Okay, there we have Saurion. Technosaurus. Haven't seen this before. Bonus Amber. He's a mutant. You may exalt him. If you do, deal three to a creature. That's pretty good. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card in the reap effect. That's pretty good effect. Sorry about that. Play destroy a creature. It's control to gain an amber. That's an old one. City state interest, each friendly creature captures an amber. Terrier Centurion, 6 power, 1 armor, play fight, capture an amber. Voice of battle, I like this one. So it's bonus amber. Play a friendly creature captures an amber. Each creature with amber on it captures an amber from its opponent. So this could be uh, really interesting for Saurians, of course. And another voice of battle, wow, like that. Oh, here's something new for me, or for most of you, I guess. Bonus Amber, Sagittarius Gaze. Enhances the damage, Pip. I don't think we've seen any. They must all be in, in Sanctum or something. <laughs> then uh, play Exalt the Damaged Creature. So that's, mm, well, yeah, that's kind of cool. You can Exalt one of your opponent's creatures. It doesn't say Friendly Creature. That's cool. Oh, Jonas is saying here that the opponent can push your cost up high and then force you the fortune key for 12 so the frog is dangerous that's interesting i didn't think about that yeah so if they have yeah that's interesting oh cool cool okay um 
Technosaurus to kill Keyfrog. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh, yeah, yeah, when we play him, we can deal three damage to creatures. So we can kill Keyfrog and make the key that way. That's interesting. Then we have Perfectus Ludo, five power. I like him. Uh, each other friendly creature gets destroyed. Move each amber from this creature to a common supply. So he's really good to have in the Saurians. There are two of those. Force to great. Four power. Your opponent keys cost plus one for each friendly creature with amber on it. Play, you make souls the friendly creature. That's That goes well with the whole Saurian thing, right? Defense initiative. Play ward a creature. You may exalt that creature. If you exalt it, ward each of its neighbors. Oh, I like this one. Warding three creatures with one card. You only have to exalt one. And yeah, really nice. And here we have the first, I think, enhancement. So that's drawing a card with, i never seen this before, Cornisen Octavia. Five power, action capture two. That's pretty good. Five power, one armor. It can survive, sort of. So, live by the frog, die by the frog. <laughs> Sounds like something Saurians would say. Okay, so we're into um, Sanctum, which must have a bunch of enhancement, right? Because we haven't seen so many. So, uh, Mighty Lance, bonus amber, and that must be a normal bonus amber, right? Yeah, yeah. Deal three to a creature and three to a neighbor of that creature. This is good. I like those direct damage. Here's a Mantle of Sea Lot with a damage pip on it. This creature gains, you may use this creature as if it belonged to the active house. That's a good one. Spirit's Way, oh I like that, we need some kind of board wipey thingy, so that's destroying each creature with power 3 or higher. Now we have a lot of creature with power 3 or higher, but you know, in some cases, um, if your opponent gets too wild with their board, do like to have one of those. Oh, Barris to Joya, this is an old classic favorite from, from Age of Ascension. 5 power, 1 armor, enemy creatures cannot reap. It's so annoying, it's so annoying if you get this out at the right time. The Grey Rider from the same set, 2 power deploy, play fight reap, you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature, could be good as well. Smite, ready and fight with a friendly creature, deal 2 damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. And another smite. And here we go. Wait, are those normal amber? Yeah, I think those are normal amber, because like the enhancements has a different little symbol there, so I think this is, this is normal for him. Easel Heart, Sea Lot, 4 power. Gisela Sealot enters play ready and enraged, so we have to fight with him. But I guess you can fight against, you know, he can survive and then you can replay later on. Commandeer, bonus amber for the remainder of the turn after you play another card, a friendly creature captures one. That's a good amber control card, I guess. If you're gonna play a bunch of Sanctum cards. Cleansing wave, play heal the damage from each creature, gain an amber for each creature heal this way. This is a good one as well. Goes well together with some damage effects. And champion Anafiel, old classic, 6 power, 1 armor, taunt. That can protect some of the other cards in here. Two of those. But where are the... We should, we're supposed to have 6 bonus amber, right? So did I miss those? Because that looks like a little different symbol. Or am I stupid? Um... Well, like, that's a normal amber, right? Because there's no... Yeah, it's like, it's like blue, or is there some, like, some little symbol? Oh, there's a blue one. That's true. Oh, that's true. So it's blue. It's not in the color of... Where is it? Like, that one is in the same color as the Saurian banner. But this one is blue. Okay, so that's how you see it. So that's one there, and key frog as well. Yeah, that's true. That's perfect to have him on, on because you only need to have five then. Well, not well. It depends on how you play it and all that. Um, that's a normal one. Normal one. Oh, Niffle Queen had one as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like this deck. I think it could be uh, really good. It looks nice. It had some. Okay, I'm gonna hold. Hold this like this, I guess. Let's see if you can see that. Can we get some focus there? Yeah, so here we see that it's Sea Lot, Mantle of Sea Lot, Mighty Lands, Octavia, Technosaurus, Key Frog, and Niffle Queen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's seven cards with. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I can imagine that, you know, the enhancements are going to make some you know, really crazy decks out there. Uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of cool. 
I kind of like that. I like this enhancement system because I think it's um, it's cool. I mean, the game was already randomized and like every deck is unique and all that. But now, uh, yeah, as they say here on the on the 250 new cards, an inconceivable number of new decks. <laughs> inconceivable. Okay, well, you know what? That was one deck opening. I think it's time to do a draw and see who has won a starter set. So. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself a little bit, but one of these are from Aspen Nordics, one is from Game Maniacs. Um, so thank you so much to you guys for uh, sponsoring with these so I can give them away to my viewers. Also, there's going to be a fun, some other fun promo stuff here. You're going to get a little sticker, you're going to get a key ring uh, with Keyforge uh, that I actually got from Jonas, so thank you for that. <laughs> well, it's from Aspen. Yes, uh, some stickers for Keyforge, and you're going to get some random um, promo cards and a business card, some random dick cards. I don't know if you, if people like to have these, but I have a bunch of them, so I just, you know, put out some random there. Just the same for both. And uh, yeah, let's get going. We have 69 entrances, and I am not going to... Oh yeah, Sealot will be an Infernus target, that's true. I hate Infernus. Infernus should be banned from the game permanently, forever, in my opinion. Way too much perching. And it's not just perching, it's amber control as well. If it was just perching, okay, but lose amber as well, that's just crazy. So, let's see here. I don't think I can pull up the list here, so you're just gonna have to trust me. But there's 69 entrance S entrances. And let's draw a card, and I'm going to go with just something in the middle here. And we have number 52. So... I am going to check my little list that I made here and see who is number 52. So number 52 is Spencer H. I just, uh, I, I don't know what the, I did it easy for myself so I didn't uh, put in the la uh, last name. But Spencer H is the first winner so congratulations to you. I don't know if you're in the chat. But uh, yeah. So let's, oh, and let's remove 52, and we're going to shuffle up for the next one. Well, one thing that I think, um, I think will be interesting with this uh, new enhancement system is that it's going to be a lot harder to predict. It's going to be harder to predict. Like, if I play uh, Call of the Archons, I can, you know, sort of predict. Like, I look at the deck list, I know what uh, kind of cards my opponent has. I can start to sort of predict what's going to happen in some cases and so on. Um, with the enhancements, it's going to be messing up, especially like in a sealed where you don't look at your opponent's deck list, so you don't know what enhancements they're going to have and so on. It's, it's really interesting, really like it. Especially, I think I especially like the one damage enhancement because that means you can get rid of wards. So that's cool. All right, so let's do the other winner, and after that, I am going to open a few more decks and hang out with you guys in the chat if you want to. But I think it's you know it's I don't want to have hold you on hold you in the stream just because you want to see this. So let's do the other giveaway first of all, and um, again, good luck to everyone. There's 68 now, so there's a little bit higher chance to win this time, and I am going to. I'm gonna let you guys in the chat decide. So whoever, uh, do I, should I go left, middle, or right? Whoever writes that down first is going to decide. So let's let's uh, pretend there's three sections in here, something like that. Just to make it more random. It's all about randomness when we talk about keyboard, right? So let's see, there's a delay on the on the stream as well. So let's see if someone tells me left, middle or right. Okay, to Tokyoka was first saying left. Okay, so we'll do from left and we have 61. And again, I'm going to check my little notepad here. And 61 is Daniel Ekerot. So a fellow Swede, Daniel Ekerot. So congratulations to you as well. So Spencer H and Daniel Ekerot, you are the two winners. And 
Someone told me recently, I, I, well, I had a discussion with a friend recently about when I pronounce names, because I say, I call myself Joseph when I talk English, because it just makes sense to do that, in my mind. But some people, um, some people think you should pronounce names as, you know, as they say them themselves in their language, which means I should say Daniel Ekerot, I shouldn't try to do an English version of that. So yeah, congratulations to the two winners. Sorry, Daniel Carlson. <laughs> uh, and now let's open some more decks and I will send these out to the winners. I'll contact you on Facebook as we will fix with the address and all that. And I'll send these out to you, uh, I think on Monday, early next week. Yeah, late entrance for the win. Jonas was the first one. Sorry, Jonas. <laughs> that, should have, that should have been good for you. But... Um, I don't think you were number one though, because like when, sh yeah, there's number one. When Facebook uh, showed me the comments, they, it was like randomized, I think, or something. So, but okay, we have the winners there. I'm going to save those just so I don't mess up when I'm going to send these out. And now let's open another deck because it's fun. So let's take a look at more cards here. And I hope you all are, well, I guess you all are ex as excited as I am for the release. I know some people already got their decks today, I think. Uh, from some web sh uh, shops and so on. I think they sent them out uh, a little bit earlier there. I'm not getting the crazy amount of decks this time as I did with like uh, Age of Ascension and Worlds Collide. I'm gonna stick with one box for now and then you know I can get more decks as you know later on because that could be more fun. I want to actually play through these decks before I start getting more. Um, with Age of Ascension especially, I got like, I don't know, three or four boxes, and I still haven't played all those decks, really. <laughs> okay, so this is this, uh, Star Alliance and Shadows, the thing that generates tragedy. Oh, that is an awesome uh, name for a deck. The thing that generates tragedy. <laughs> especially if it wins a lot, <laughs> it's going to generate tragedy. Oh yeah, the Deluxe is pretty cool. Um... I got this one, I think Deluxe is something else, right? I got over there, I have a... Yeah, that's the Deluxe, the Deluxe Orchid deck. So that comes with some tokens and so on. It's like one player thingy, right? I'm gonna open that in a separate video. I'm gonna do like a little unboxing thing and open that and go through that deck. Oh, Christian is saying that his wife got a discombo... I can't say that, discombo later with three Amber Pips. That's crazy. Oh. Okay, so we are going to take a look at this. I'm going to switch camera again. So let's head over there. And we'll just put this up there. And we will start off with General Order 24. I do like this one. It's kind of cool. An artifact at the start of each player's turn. They must choose a creature they control and destroy each creature of the chosen creature's house. If that player has no creatures in play, destroy General Order 24 instead. This could be good, it could be... That's good, I don't know. Quintrino Flux, I do like. Play, choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature, destroy the chosen creatures and each creature with the same power as either of those chosen creatures. That's a lot of creature in one uh, sentence. Two of those, and here's an Amber, uh, not an Amber, a damage pip on that one. That's kind of cool, wow. So this happens first, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. This happens first, and then you do the card effect, which means you could ping, sort of, a warded uh, creature. You could first get rid of the ward, and then get rid of the creature with the effect from Quintrino Flux. That's a cool one. Uh, teleporter Chief Think. Two power elusive. Action. Swap him with another friendly creature in the battle line. You may use that other creature this turn. That's a pretty good effect, I guess. like it. Subject Kirby with some capture on it. Two power. Play Fight Reap. You may play a non-star alliance creature this turn. That's a good one. Uh, that's a really good effect. Red alert with an extra amber as well. Oh, no. Why do I keep saying amber? With an extra damage. So red alert with damage as well. That's cool. If there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. There's actually some situations where I could think about playing this... Doing one damage to, let's say, uh, a, a rad penny or, you know, a, a weak creature that I have already. 
So then when this effect triggers, I will do more damage to my enemies because, you know, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Hadron Collision. Play, remove a ward from a creature and deal three damage to it. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. This is awesome. I really like this one. This is so cool. Removing ward and deal... It's like, this is like made to, to beat the Medic Ingram. Explorer. Three power skirmish can be played as an upgrade with the text this creature against skirmish. Gameo Alien. I think this has to do... Someone tried to explain that to me in some comments, but I didn't really get it. Um, I think this has to do with... That he became a demo alien is because I have this in here or something like that. I don't know. All right, look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one into your hand and one on the bottom of your deck. And destroy it, steal one. Because it's like Umbra aliens, if you have shadows, I think. And I think there's like different kinds of how they generate these, which sounds pretty cool. Commander Chan is good. Fight Reap, use another friendly creature. And here's a new one Blast Shielding. Bonus Amber, this creature gains plus 2 armor. After this creature is used, its controller may attach the Blasting Shield to one of its neighbors. So in, in theory, you could have this on like Commander Chan. You fight with him against a 2 power creature, the armor will block it. Then you move this as, to his neighbor, and then you can fight with that and have the 2 armor. That's a cool one. Access denied. Bonus Amber, this creature cannot reap. And we're into Shadows. I think the Star Alliance was was pretty cool. There was some, you know, a lot of like two Contrino Flux and a Red Alert. There was a lot of, and the General Order, a lot of removal, basically. Um, okay, Andrew is saying that the links are random. Okay. Like between these. This is like a Dino Thief, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, it seems to be less wipes overall in this set. Smaller ping damage and higher power seems to be the norm. That's interesting. Dino Thief is a mutant, elusive play. You may exalt it if you do deal 3 to a creature. Was that the same one that we had? No, we didn't have uh, shadows. It's like in the same effect as the other one. Oh, what is this? Shadow Saurus. High power one armor action. Move each amber from an enemy creature to your opponent's pool. If there was at least one amber on that creature, take control of it. While under your control, it belongs to House Shadows. Wow, so this is, yeah, that's why it's called Shadow Saurus. This is like against an anti dino card. <laughs> so that is really cool. So basically, we have like something like. That's the old deck. The old, the other deck. Uh, we have something like Tyrus Centurion out there, right? He captures one. Then we, uh, then we do this action, and the opponent gets that amber, which is sad, of course, but we take control of the creature and it becomes shadows. Liam Say, three power elusive. At the start of your turn, you may deal one damage to a creature. That's it's cool. That is a cool effect. I like the artifact. I think it was from Worlds Collide. Uh, the floor is lava, whatever it was. The Brobner, where you do damage at the start of your turn. I do like that one. Again, good against Watch. Oh, Lights Out is one of my favorite cards. Bonus Amber. Play, return two enemy creatures to their owner's hand. So good. Especially against Saurians. Uh, if they exalt and, and all that. Uh, then you can just know. Nothing can protect them. Because like, even if they have the Imperial Skodom or, or the Ludo. Uh, they don't get destroyed. They just get turned, you know, returned to their hand, which means all that lovely amber they have exalted on them is ours. So, oh yeah, what's that? It's that yeah, exactly. That's a dinosaur. So he can be killed by the meteor. <laughs> I like that there's dinosaurs in other houses now. Uh, even though I usually say that I hate the dinosaurs, but... Um, oh, booby trap is good. Bonus amber. Deal 4 to a creature that is not on a flank with 2 splash. That's a cool one. Vandalize, that's new. Bonus Amber, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Discard one and put the others back in any order. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is cool. This is a cool card for sure. Oh, so like, you can get rid of that too much to protect or whatever. That is so cool. You look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and you can just, oh, that is, I love this card. That's so cool. Here's a new one, Shoulder ID, 6 power taunt, which is also cool, a taunt in Shadows. He cannot fight though, when he would deal damage, he steals one instead. Oh, that's good. So you can use this guy to steal if he deals damage. Hmm. 
Uh, that's pretty cool. And a taunt. I like that. Pico Needle, old classic artifact, action dealer, damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, gain an amber. Oh, and then we can have Rad Penny, so they come after each other. It's perfect. The Rad Penny with a uh, enhanced damage as well. I'd rather have an amber there, but anyway. So, but it's still good, because she's going to play Steel One when you, you destroy her with the Seeker Needle, maybe. Then she gets shuffled into the deck and she comes back later. Oh yeah, that's true. That's also true. Paul is saying in the chat, like, Vandalize gives you information about the opponent's deck that he doesn't know. That's interesting as well. So he doesn't know what he will be drawing into, but you know it. That's kind of cool idea. And only one Rad Penny. I want to have a deck with like five of these and Amber Pips and Enhancements and all that. We'll see if we ever get that. Mug. Bonus Amber. Move an Amber from a creature to your pool. Deal two to that creature. Gamgee. Oh, I don't like Gamgee. He's two power elusive. Reap. If your opponent has more Amber, then you steal one. Ah, he's so, he's so, so rare that I get to use him good. I don't know. Dark Wave, bonus Amber, deal 2 damage to each non-mutant creature. That uh, could be good, I guess, I don't know. So, we're heading into this with Dino Fiend. 4 power play, you make Salt him. If you do, deal 3 to a creature. And when he's destroyed, you steal one. That's pretty cool. I had a card in Sanctum, a new card in Sanctum in the playthrough. A creature that said that all the, I think it was a rare. And he said that his, his effect was that all the destroyed effects didn't trigger. <laughs> that was a cool one. And uh, look at this crazy guy. This is from where the, all the damage comes from. A Malef Maleficorn. With 5 power, 4 enhancement of damage. After an enemy creature is dealt damage by a damage bonus, I can deal 1 damage to that creature. Oh, so actually these turn into 2 damage then if he's alive out there. That's not bad. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Nobody attacks. There's a delay on the on the stream. It's annoying, but I still appreciate your comments here. So, shoulder ID. Yeah, that's true. You don't attack this one because then it's going to steal. Well, I guess you can attack it if you don't have any amber or something. I don't know. Um, so... Dino Fiend, we talked about, and Maleficorn, and here's Obsidian Forge. This is an older one. Artifact, bonus amber, destroy any number of friendly creatures. You may forge a key at plus six current cost, reduced by one for each creature destroyed this way. If you forge a key this way, destroy the Obsidian Forge. So this is absolutely a... This is a way to... I mean, I like key cheats, and this is a way to do it, right? Oh, this one I haven't seen. Grim Reminder. Uh, play, choose a house. Archive each creature of that house from your discard pile. Gain one chain. Wow. That's an insane effect. If you get this late, or if you can somehow hold on to it or something, you can get back... We'll see how many creatures we have from each house, but you can get back, get back a bunch of creatures that way uh, and archiving them, which this would be awesome together with some Logos deck that has some cool like or the archivist or some archive effect Okay, uh, gleeful mayhem bonus amber for each house deal five damage to a creature of that house Waking nightmare bonus amber enhances a capture peace cost plus one for each this creature in play during your opponent's next turn and This is one of those cards that gets so much better if your opponent has this right um, Yeah Cinder, 6 power, six power, 2 armor, taunt. Another taunt, big taunt guy, or sort of big. Reap, destroy a friendly creature. So, you know, well, you might want to destroy a friendly creature if we have something in here that, you know, two of those as well. I don't think dust imps are a thing anymore, right? I don't think they're, I think they were gone already in, in World's Collide. Oh, three cinders, okay. So we have a lot of taunts. And here's, oh, here's one we want to destroy, maybe. Impspector. With a damage pip on it. Two power destroy your opponent purchase a random card from their hand. So yeah, you could destroy him with Cinder. Dominate the bubble, use a friendly creature, and finally Dark Minion with the damage pip, one power, and he enhanced well he I don't think they can enhance themselves, right? I don't know, maybe yeah, but he anyway. 
Destroy dealer damage to each enemy creature. Again, good against those. We might destroy him with Cinder if our opponent has a lot of wards out, for example. So that's not bad. So let's look through this a little bit. So first of all, I am curious to see how many creatures did we have in, in this. Or in, in any house because of that uh, grim reminder. I think we had a bunch, right? In this there, in this there is seven creatures. That's pretty cool. And here we have. I mean, archiving red penny is not bad. And shadows had. So that's a good count as well. Thor Alliance. Oh, that's true, yeah. If, if you play late, you flip. And you can basically, as you say, you can get rid of it. Like you can archive a full house of creatures. You can play a two house deck, basically. If you don't want to have those, you can just let them be there. Uh, here we have five creatures. I think maybe Star Alliance was the weak house in here. Well, they did have some removal and so on. But I think my favorite of these are this, actually. I think this looked best. Even though Shadows are pretty cool as well. Cool card here. The rare one there. And did we have any Amber to speak of? It's hard for me to pull out the Amber now because it's like... All these new cards, I might miss stuff because I'm not thinking about that they might give us Amber. He's stealing. And that's stealing, I guess. But it's not an it's not on a play effect, Vandalize. That giving Amber maybe and so on. And is that it? There's one, there's two. Three actually, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we might have something else in here that I'm missing, right? So, I mean, this moves an amber from a creature to a pool, that's like a two amber card. This can get us a bunch of amber if it's captured or exalted, right? So, yeah, I like this deck as well. I think it's cool. I think the first one we looked at was even cooler though, but you know, I like Sanctum as well, so. So let's, let's see here. We're gonna flip back here and let's catch up with the chat. So, Paul is saying that mass mutation decks are so varied that the matchups between them can be so interesting and different from any other. I can imagine. And it's also very interesting to see how the how these decks go against the other different um, sets. I think this one might have, so far from what I've seen, it might have an issue with Call of the Archons. Because it's not that heavy on the, the decks that I've seen. I've seen like six or seven decks now. They, they haven't been that heavy on Amber Control against Rush decks. They are more focused on anti-board. And in Call of the Archons, you don't really need to have that much board. I think maybe this set is good against Words Collide. I hope so, because I don't like Words Collide. <laughs> I don't like to play against Words Collide. I hope this could be the Words Collide killer. And then... Andrew is saying creature placement is key for this deck. Yeah, there's a lot of taunts. Jason... Oh, hey, Jason Kirk. Jason is asking, have you seen a stronger or weaker house in Mass Mutations from deck you have opened? I haven't seen all the houses yet. I don't think so. I think maybe that I so far I kind of like this. I always like this, but I like some of the new discards. And I also think that I think the Sanctum has some new cool guys in here. Not that many in this deck. There's a lot of old cards here actually. Uh, Saurians. I hope the Saurians has been a little bit nerfed. I think they were too strong in Words Collide. Not really sure. Um, Untamed has some cool cards, of course. Hard to say. <laughs> it's, it's too early. <laughs> too early to say. But you know what? Let's open another deck, right? Why not? And then the rest of these I'll do deck reviews on. 
so that you can check them out you know uh, in videos upcoming where i go in the in there i go through a little bit more uh talking about them than i do now and i can you know when i record stuff i can edit and do all that so i can think through more what i'm going to say now i'm just you know spontaneously speaking so let's open this one up yeah, okay, Paul is saying that there is no bad house like there was the Brobner in Worlds Collide. I hope I hope that's the case, because I thought that was so boring in Worlds Collide that every time you opened a Brobner deck and you just started crying. Speaking of which, if you if you guys haven't, if you like, you know, obviously you like Keyforge. If you haven't, go check out Jean-Claude Van Keyforge, Jean-Claude Van Keyforge on YouTube. Awesome channel. I've uh, been following him, supporting him for uh, quite a while. And he only does deck openings, that's his whole thing. But he, he has a really fun thing going on where he, he's so angry every time he opens a Brobner deck in Words for Light, that's funny. So, let's see here, we have Sanctum, Untamed, the Star Alliance, that's a fun combination, I like that. Brazier of Dur Doring's Ton, okay. So, again, let's switch camera. I don't have my quick binded keys today for some reason. So we start off with Post Pixies. And it has two capture. And here's a question for you. If it has two capture, this creature must capture it, right? It's the creature that has the symbol that has to do it, right? If I'm not mistaken. I have I mean the rules are in those boxes, but I haven't actually read the rules for mass mutation. Um I just assume that this creature has to capture it. Anyway, he's one power elusive Amber that would be stolen or captured from your pool is taken from the common supply instead. So it's a good card if you can, if you can stay out there and be alive. Oh, Fangtooth Cavern with two Amber. One normal and one enhanced. That's cool. And at the end of your turn, destroy the least powerful enemy creature. So, well, not enemy creature, destroy the least powerful creature. So, those Pixies has, will have a rough time in here. Uh, because... If we play Fangtoon Cavern. And there's some situations in some decks that I don't play Fangtoon Cavern. I just discard it, maybe. But since it has two Amber Pips here, I do want to play it, right? So maybe we have a way to remove it later on. There's another small one. Bumblebird. Alpha. Play. Put two plus one power counters on each other friendly untamed creature. He's going to be dead as well. Song of the Wild. with uh, an, That's an extra. That's an enhanced Amber Pip. The remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains reap, gain an amber. I like this card, especially if we have like ghost talk in here. Okay, Christian is saying that any creature can capture. It doesn't have to be the one with the pips on it. Oh, that's awesome. Because we don't really want to, we don't want to capture two amber on post pixies when we have Fangton Cameron out. <laughs> oh. Okay, Song of the Wild is cool. Savage Clash with a draw card enhancement. Play, you destroy each creature except the most powerful enemy creature and the least powerful friendly creature. So this is kind of interesting. This is a weird, weird board wipey thingy. Reclaimed by nature. Bonus amber. Play perch an artifact. Resolve its bonus icons as if you had played it. You know what we could perch? We could. Wow. We can play Fangton Cavern. Get two amber. Then we can right away, if we have them both in hand, we can play Reclaim by the Nature, get an Amber, and perch Fangtoon Cavern and get two more Amber. Wow, and then we don't have to have Fangtoon Cavern out. And that's a two, that's a five Amber play with two cards. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is really cool. I like that. Then we have a new one with Capture as well. I don't know how to say this. Pismire? It sounds like a funny word in Swedish. Anyway, while there are more friendly mutant creatures than enemy mutant creatures, your opponent keys cost plus two. Oh, so, okay. So this card in itself, because he's a mutant, so this card in itself is, a, is making it plus two when you play against anything else than mass mutation. If you play against Words Collide, Age of Ascension, or Call of the Archons, then there are no mutants in the opponent's um, <laughs> decks, so he will just be a plus two. That's awesome. And it's a four, so he's fairly strong as well. Niffle Ape. I don't want to have a Niffle Ape in here. Well, at least it was just one. Lost in the Woods is a good card, though, from the old set. 
uh, sets. It's a bonus amber, choose two friendly creatures and two enemy creatures, shuffle each chosen creature into its owner's deck. I do like this one. Uh, I do like that one. Yeah, Untamed seems to be, be cool these days. Oh, two Lost in the Woods. Awesome. Love it. Especially sans. I don't mind getting post pixies back later on. And doing another double capture. Or Bumblebird. It's also good to get back. So Lost in the Woods here. Nice, nice, nice. And here we have Keyfrog. Again, <laughs> two power destroyed. 40 key at current cost. And we have ways to get a bunch of Amber in here. So I hope that Untamed could be the Rush deck again that it used to be in Call of the Orphans. That was cool. Nice. And this one here, Glorious Intendant and Enhanced Two Amber Pips. And another one. It's really weak though, these guys. So here we go into the Store Alliance. And as I talked about, here's another alien that is another type of alien. This is the Techno Alien. So. Uh, also has a card draw, but four power fight. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one into your hand and one on the bottom of your deck. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. I think they all have the same effect, right? What's the difference between a techno alien and a demo alien? Are they the same? Find this guy in here. I'm curious now. Um, where did I put him? He is, there he is, no he's totally different, he had, no, look at the top three cards of your deck, yeah he had the destroyed steel one, this one has to reap the score, okay so they are different, yeah, that makes sense, okay so techno alien, uh, two of those, oh look at this, so we have two techno aliens, one of them has enhancement, the other one does not, then we have sacro alien, which I guess it's the sanctum version, uh, this one is, yeah, because this one has armor, so it's like thematically tied into Sanctum, right? With the armor and 5 power instead of 4. And fight has the same effect there. Look at the top 3 cards of your deck, put one into your hand, one on the bottom of your deck. And the, uh, the third one uh, is going to be put back on the top of your deck, I assume. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, I think this is my favorite of these so far. I like this guy. Because it's a bit stronger, so you're going to be able each to get that fight effect going. Oh, Techno, it's Logos, obviously, yeah. Um, the artwork is different as well. Actually, there's like a big fist, there's like a sanctum glove, basically like Bulwark's glove. And here's some kind of techno thingy, some logos thingy, so that's cool. And <laughs> look at all these aliens. <laughs> so we have techno aliens, two of them. We have a sacro alien, and we have a dino alien, which is obviously... A dinosaur thing and look at that there's some in the artwork as well some kind of dino thingy so this one has play you may exalt him if you do deal three to a creature yeah that's obviously thematic as well this is like the alien deck in here and the fight effect is the same yeah, that's cool wow so many creatures in here armory officer nell he's cool uh for power has the enhanced draw card and then after an upgrade enters play draw a card i don't think we have any upgrades so far right I don't think we had any upgrades, no. So hopefully we get some upgrades, otherwise he's not that great, right? Um, okay, so <laughs> two of those, wow! So if we can have both of these out and then play some upgrades, yeah, I like that. But let's get some upgrades now, come on, come on, come on. No, there's only creatures in the Star Alliance. Two power teleporter chief think, think. Two power elusive action swap him with another friendly creature. You may use that creature this turn. Yeah, we saw him earlier. Pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, here's a upgrade finally. Um, observe you, Max. I haven't seen this before. Uh, free amber. This creature gains fight reap capture amber. So we, this could lead to two card draws as well if you have both of the other guys out there. Explore over. We will definitely play this as a upgrade if, if one of those guys are out so we can draw more cards that's also cool oh yeah 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 yeah. andrew kong is pointing something very important out here that i missed in my uh they say after an upgrade enters play draw a card it doesn't have to be my upgrade wow so these are really cool them um, these especially against another star alliance deck right 
I mean, the Star Alliance decks that has like six, seven upgrades in some crazy cases, or it may, there's upgrades in other houses as well. Look at that, we have another Explorer over. We do have some upgrades ourselves as well. We have three there, and then another creature, and I can't pronounce this because I'm a Swede, so his name is, or her name actually, is Krumen Jörg. Um, <laughs> because it's an Ö, which doesn't exist in the English alphabet. So that's fun. Three power, enhance, capture, action. If Krumen Jörg has no Star Alliance neighbors, steal one Amber. So we gotta place this in the right way, right? And there's so many creatures from Star Alliance in here, so that's kind of... Yeah, it's going to be hard to pull that off, I guess. And another upgrade. Wow, access denied. This creature cannot read. Okay, so we have four upgrades in here, our own. Wow, I like this deck already. Then we are going into Sanctum. We're going to start off with Honorable Claim, Bonus Amber, Play Each Friendly Knight Creature Captures One. This is an old card. I don't remember. I usually have, this is a rare card, that's the thing. I mean, most cards I do know by heart, but I'm thinking this might be, this might be an old card. Yeah, and Paul is saying that if we have those guys out and we start drawing cards on our opponent's turn, we start with a bigger hand. That is also really, really good. like that idea. But yeah, honorable claim. Then we have Giselhart's Wrath. Bonus Amber, destroy each mutant creature. So this is... The thematic here that we read about mass mutation before it was released that you know sanctum is back because they want to fight those mutants they want to keep the the crucible clear of uh, the the um, <laughs> mutants that's pretty good though uh, i don't know we're gonna check later on how many mutants we i think we have a bunch of mutants ourselves oh this is new purify bonus amber which is enhanced no it's not enhanced it's the sanctum color so play uh, perch a mutant creature. If you do, discard cards from the top of its controller's deck until you discard a non-mutant creature or run out of cards. If you discard a non-mutant creature this way, put it into play under its owner's control. So, wow, that's a lot of text. Oh yeah, this is a Call of the Archons card, Honorable Claim. It's just that it's rare, so I don't think I have it in any of my decks, that's why I don't really recognize it. But I had a feeling in the back of my mind that I've seen it. Okay, so Purify. So I guess we perch one of our own creatures, right? And then we discard cards. Or, this is also interesting. Here's another interesting thought. If we know that our opponent has something like too much to protect in their deck. And they haven't played it yet. They might just have 10 more cards in the deck or whatever. We perch one of their creatures. A mutant creature. They will, have to, they will start discarding cards, and hopefully they won't find a non-mutant creature for a while, and maybe they will discard too much to protect. Something like that. That could be interesting, actually. Alright, so Barrister Joya is back as well. I do like this one. Enemy creatures cannot reap. I like having that. And this one I do not like. This is a new one. Seeker of Truth. Three power, one armor fight. You may fight with a friendly non-sanctum creature. Well, I guess you can use this to fight against, like, elusives. But he, it's, he's so weak that I don't see us getting many uses of that fight effect. That's why I don't really like this card. I haven't even played with it, but just looking at it. Uh, two of those as well. And then we have Lieutenant Governor. Four power, one armor. After you fight with a creature, he captures one. That's a cool one, though. I like that. Amber Control. And here's General Salvador. Four power, two armor, enhance, two captures. That's the only thing he does. So, yeah. Well, you know, we can fight the reap with him, so I guess he's okay. Uh, it's kind of funny because these days you're so used to every card having a, a reap or a fight effect that when these show up that don't have that, it's, it's, it, they feel weak instantly. feel weird. Like, why? He's, he's not doing anything. But, but, yeah, I mean... Four power, two armor, it's pretty good anyway. Commandeer again, bonus amber for the remainder of the turn after you play another card, a friendly creature captures one. So I do like that amber control in Sanctum. And now I have to go check here. Uh, Seeker became a lot better with Governor. And yeah, it's true, because we will fight with Seeker, that's true. And then we will, he will capture, yeah, that's true. Uh, so Commandeer is pretty cool with uh, Amber Control and two of those I like that for Amber Control. Cleansing Wave seems to be in most of my Sanctum decks these days with Mass Mutation. 
Healing a damage from each creature, gain one amber for each creature healed this way. This card is most of the time always good. It's always like some amber at least. And especially when we have these little damage pingies because... So Burning Glare, bonus amber, and that damage, and it has play stun an enemy creature or stun each enemy mutant creature. That could be awesome against if our opponent has a lot of mass mutation mutants out. And we do a damage, and we can do cleansing wave and all that. So now, let's see here, there's like a lot of thoughts in my head at the same time, time now. Things I wanted to check out. So, you know, point it out in the chat if there's anything I should be checking out here, but... We have five creatures here. Sanctum. This is amber. Wow, everything is amber except for the creatures. That's cool. Um, here we had the upgrades, and we had a crazy amount of. If I, I'm gonna count these as creatures, right, as well, that means we had. We didn't have an, any single action card in Star Alliance. There's two upgrades, pure upgrades. And then there's t uh, 10 creatures. Well, these could be upgrades as well. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that. All these aliens. That's cool. Then here we have some amber. We have creatures. What do we have? Three, four. Um, five. We have six creatures in here. What is it? 3, 6, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 21 creatures. We have one action. No, we don't have one action card. One action card without Ember Pip. So, a lot of creature. Creature heavy deck. And we do have some Amber here as well. And this could get us more Amber. So this might be like 2 or something. So, 2, 3. And this could be a lot with the Fanctured Cannon. Like, yeah, I don't know how to count this. But it's like 2, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 maybe, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, this deck could be really good, I think. High Amber count just by playing cards. 22 or 21 creatures, whatever that was. So yeah, thank you, Paul. Good night to you. And... Um, Thank you for watching and commenting. Yeah, so I think this deck is... This might be... Just by my gut feeling, this might be the best deck out of the three that we've been looking at tonight. That's my gut feeling, but... Uh, if we look here, it has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. Seems to be like 6, 7 enhancement is, is the standard. So far, I don't really have much of a statistical... Uh, Base though, I only opened like 8 decks or something, but anyway. Let's uh, go back here, so you uh, can see Draco and the lovely uh, Keyforge stuff. And congratulations again to the winners, uh, Matthew, what was it? Wait, I have to check again. Uh, no, 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 sorry, Spencer H and Daniel Ekerot are the two winners. Uh, you will both get uh, one of these starter sets with all this fun stuff to it. Hope you enjoy the giveaway. I am so happy to be able to do these giveaways by having these sponsors. So thanks to Game Maniacs and Asmodee Nordics again. And yeah, thank you so much for watching the stream. If you want to see more Keyforge, there's a lot of it on the channel. There's uh, two deck reviews out for decks with mass mutations. There's one video where I look through two decks. And I also do a playthrough with those two decks as well. And there's the, the starter set opening and there's more to come, obviously. So yeah. I hope you had fun. If you did, press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.